Hello friends, this video on human reproduction part 5 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So let us now talk about the next important part that is uterus. So what does the uterus do? It is also known as womb uh, in common words. So it is a pear shaped structure which is muscular in nature. So it is made up of muscles and it is in the shape of a pear. So if you actually look at the shape of the uterus alone, so you would see that it is in the shape of a pear and it is a muscular structure. It is made up of muscles and that is why it can actually have contraction and expansion. Fetus develops here. So now the egg which was released from the ovary, the egg gets fertilized, it passes through the fallopian tube and finally it reaches the ovary and then the that fertilized egg develops into a baby inside the, inside the uterus. So in uterus actually holds the baby for nine months. So now if you talk about the structure of the uterus, it is supported by ligaments attached to the pelvic wall. So there are ligaments which keep the, uh, which makes up the backbone of the uterus and one end of the uterus is towards the vagina. So this end is towards the vagina, whereas the other end is towards the fallopian tube. So on one side it has the fallopian tube and the other side is the vagina. The overall location of the uterus is towards the uh, dorsal side of urinary bladder. So just the back side of urinary bladder or you can say the front side of the rectum. That is the anus through which the undigested food materials are ejected out. Right, so that is the location of the uterus. Next to the uterus is a structure called cervix. So this portion is cervix. So what is it? It is the narrow part of the uterus. So if you see gradually as you go down, the uterus tends to become narrow. So the nar most narrow part of the uterus is called cervix. And finally, the last portion that is vagina, which is again a tube-like structure. So if you see, this entire structure is vagina. And it is like a tub tubular structure, which is like a part. So sperm discharge occurs here. Now what happens is during sexual intercourse, the penis enters into this area and the urethra releases the sperms here in this area. So when the sperms are released in this area, then the sperms will actually enter and it will try to reach wherever the eggs are. And that is how fertilization will take place. So we will see that where and how fertilization happens. So for now you should understand that vagina is that region where the sperms are discharged by the penis. This also acts as the birth canal. Why birth canal? Because the baby remains here for 9 months. Now when the baby needs to be delivered, what happens is that these uterus muscles tend to contract and the baby is being pushed in the downward direction. So baby moves through this vaginal tube and is then brought out of the female's body through the vaginal opening. So that is how the delivery of a baby takes place and that is the reason why vagina is called the birth canal. So let us look at the structure of the uterus in little more detail. So uterus has got three layers of tissue. So what are the three layers? Perimetrium, myometrium and endometrium. Now this is extremely important because these three layers of tissues, they serve a very important purpose in the functioning of the female reproductive system. So what is perimetrium? It is the external thin layer. So if you see, this layer is the perimetrium the external thin layer. So if you see this black line, it is very thin, right? So this is the outermost layer. And what is it I mean, made up of? It is made up of loose connective tissue. So it actually tries to keep the uh, uterus distinct from other parts of the body. Next is the myometrium, which is the middle layer and is quite thick. So this thick layer is the myometrium. So what does this layer do? It is again made up of smooth muscles and it undergoes contraction during delivery of a baby. As I said, the baby remains in this area for 9 months. Now when the baby is fully grown up and matured, it wants to come out of the female's body. Now that time, how will the baby come out? 
So these walls of the uterus, they undergo contraction and that is how they push the baby into the downward direction. So this contraction is actually done by the middle layer, that is this thick layer called myometrium. And the innermost layer is the endometrium. So it is a granular layer, that is granules are also present here. So this red colored layer which you see here, that is endometrium. What is its purpose? Now, again in endometrium, there are two types of endometrium. One is functional endometrium and the other one is the basal endometrium. So these are the two types of endometrial layer which are present. Now, what, do, what does the endometrium do? Now, this functional endometrium, it arises from the basal endometrium. So basically, this is the basal endometrium and then above this is the functional endometrium. So what happens is this endometrium forms an inner lining of the uterus and this inner lining is shed periodically if there is no pregnancy. Now what happens is this inner lining actually helps to uh, hold the baby in place. Now when the baby sits in the uterus for quite some time, you actually need, need a bag-like structure which can keep the baby protected inside the body. So that kind of thick layer is actually formed by the endometrium, that is the functional endometrium but it is not necessary that every fertilization will cause i mean every time there is a sexual intercourse that is every time the uh, male sex organ that is penis is inserted inside the vagina of the female it is not necessary that uh, fertilization will take place now why it is not necessary that we will see later so in some of the times fertilization will take place, that time this endometrium will form a thicker layer and it will actually help the baby to sit inside the uterus. Now in case there is no fusion taking place, in that case what will happen? This layer of the endometrium will be shed. Now when this layer is shaded, what happens is, it, it is all made up of blood vessels, right, the inner endometrium and that is why you see in the picture also it is being displayed in red color due to the presence of blood vessels. So this layer is shaded and therefore the bleeding happens through the vaginal opening and that is what is known as menstruation in females. So menstruation occurs due to the breaking of the inner endometrial layer which leads to blood loss through the vaginal opening. Right, so these are the uh, roles of the different layers of tissue of uterus. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online test, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.